the Newport, Oregon Public Library, and I'm here today with my friend, Pongo. Let's call her name, say Pongo. Hi, hi friends, I'm Pongo. Hi Pongo, do you know what a leprechaun is? No. Oh, well, leprechauns are part of Irish folklore. And it's said that if you can catch a leprechaun, that they will give you their gold. I want to catch a leprechaun. <laughs> well, let's do a story about catching a leprechaun. Okay. <laughs> Here's our story, the leprechaun and his gold. Was a fine sunny day at harvest time when young Seamus Odell, walking along the road, heard a tapping sound, and peering over the hedge, he saw a tiny man mending a tiny shoe. Well, 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 said Seamus to himself, I truly never expected to meet a leprechaun, and now that I have, I must not let this chance slip away, for everyone knows leprechauns keep a pot of gold hidden nearby. All I have to do is find it, and I am set for the rest of my life. Seamus grabbed the leprechaun and demanded to know where the gold was hidden. All right, all right, cried the little man. It's near here, I'll show you. And together they set off across the fields, as Seamus was careful to never take his eyes off the little man who was guiding him. And at last they came to a field filled with clover bushes. The leprechaun pointed to a large plant. The gold is under here, he said. All you have to do is dig down and find it. Well, Seamus didn't have anything with him to use for digging, but he was not entirely stupid. So he pulled off his red scarf and tied it to the plant so that he would recognize it again. Promise me, he said to the leprechaun, that you will not untie that scarf. Well, the little man promised faithfully. Seamus ran home as fast as he could to fetch a shovel, and within five minutes, he was back at the field. But what a sight met his eyes, every single plant in the whole field, and there were hundreds of them, had a red scarf tied around it. Slowly, young Seamus walked home with his shovel. He didn't have his gold, and he didn't have the leprechaun, and now, he didn't even have his red scarf. The end. Leprechauns are tricky. <laughs> they sure are. Wow, so that was a great story. Did you like it? I really liked it. <laughs> Me too. But we have to go back to the library now, Pongo. Okay. <laughs> okay, say goodbye to your friends. Goodbye, friends. <laughs> goodbye, friends. We'll see you at the library. <laughs> Prairie. Thank you.